Hey everyone, welcome back to another Injustice 2 video. Today we're going to be doing a roster overview. Today I wanted to make just a video on the characters that I've built and how the progress has been going. So the last time I think I had like 26 or 27 million threats. So when I hit 30 million today or a few days ago, I was thinking I should probably make another one of these um, another one of these videos where I just go over the whole roster and just show basically how or like where I'm going with these characters so for for a fact I had um, I'm sure I didn't have enchantress that high so I for sure have built her up all the way but that's old news that's like old and I'm so close to getting Suicide Harley Quinn to three stars ascended. Um, something new though, I've been focusing on all of my solo raid characters and getting them to level 70, to gear 75 so I can have that last epic reforge slot. So I've been doing pretty good. I've been doing the ones that are very necessary. So for sure, Batman Ninja Batman, 75 gears, seven to, like all level 75 gears. Uh, Mr. Freeze for sure, Heartbreaker Harley Quinn for sure, Raiden for sure. Batwoman I had just completed today, so she's good. Um, I'm still trying to perfect Mr. Freeze because Mr. Freeze sometimes, I feel like he could definitely one shot, but I need to have like an like a very perfect build i just need to finish this last rare talent and it'll almost be perfect because i need them at seven stars to get that last one but that's going to take a while there's like a very long while after that i think i'm going to be focusing on raiding because raiden also struggles to one shot a lot of the times bad woman honestly she doesn't really need she doesn't need me to perfect her build because at this rate i think she's always going to one shot I think it's more or less just depending on Robin King because sometimes he is a very, he's extremely weak. So sometimes he'll get knocked out and that kind of throws the gameplay off because then you have to kind of re resurrect him with the whole hazard damage over time thing. But Beast Boy is the one I'm working on right now. And for, um, I don't know why it's not working, but um, I'm sure that he's going to, Actually, he failed a one-shot today on boss, boss Deathstroke. Um, I was surprised. He never fails me, and he failed me today. So, and guess who came and um, cleaned up, like, within, like, half a minute? It was Batwoman the Drone. So, I was like, man, how the tables have turned. I'm like, Be Beast Boy would never fail me. He failed me today, and Batwoman would always fail me when I had first started to use her. But ever since getting this artifact... I feel like I've been very, um, gameplay has been very consistent and easier and just very, she's not, um, she's not as difficult to play anymore is what I, am um, trying to say. So EPI, I finally got seven intergalactic orbs and I was going to wait to give them to a legendary because I didn't really want to give them to gold characters yet. But at the same time, if I give it to a legendary nothing's really gonna go like nothing incredibly um insane is gonna happen you know because all of my legendaries sure they're available to um get to um seven stars but at the same time why bother because they're not even close to getting to ascended star one like not even batman or not even superman which i have like a lot i think i have enough for deathstroke for seven stars and then Superman for seven stars as well. Dark side for seven stars, but at the same time, like that doesn't really it doesn't matter because you're not gonna get them to ascend it. So it's they're not gonna be even that strong. It's just gonna be you upgraded your character and you get an extra talent slot, which is not what I want. I want to us um to get my to get intergalactic orbs and to increase um a lot of the character's power. So I decided on going to EPI because I could have gone for Flash. I could have gone for um, Bad Bad Batman Ninja Catwoman. I could have um, upgraded Last Laugh the Joker, Multiverse Green Arrow, and Supergirl, but she doesn't have enough for Ascended One, so there's no point in that. 
I could have done a lot of other characters, but I wanted to increase entangling poison ivy because i think she's a really good um she's a really good character and i heard that she can one shot by herself and she doesn't really need harley quinn which um i'm not planning on having that be the end game like i still want harley quinn because she's like extremely strong but so i have heartbreak harley quinn and ivy and uh classic wonder woman for one solo raid so for a solo raid team so if Entangling Poison Ivy can do a lot of damage. It just speeds up everything. You know what I mean? Like it'll just speed up one shotting stuff because sometimes they do struggle. Um, they do struggle sometimes to like get the to get started because I still don't have Dark Metal cards, which is coming next week or this week. Like at once Death Strokes or Solo Raid is over, it's um, the Dark Metal card Solo Raid. So I'll be finally getting that. Um, that artifact and hopefully that'll just increase our damage way more um that's the last artifact i need because it's been a while these solar rates have been going in loops and they have not been giving the good artifacts out but yeah i just need a little bit more credits to increase her i i'm sure i have um enough metahuman shards to get her to four stars because let me see who's not no i need a Gold character that's not ascended all the way up. Swamp thing, yeah. Yeah, I definitely have enough 400 shards in total to have her go um, to ascended stars for, which will be um, good. I know I I'm extremely impatient, so I already just want her at level seven. I do have enough of these orbs, but now it's just the thing about shards and hers. There's no challenge, I believe. Oh, there is. Um, I wonder when, because I don't remember seeing that challenge. I mean, that challenge was many years ago. That was like probably four or five years ago before she was part of the laugh, laugh, uh, part of the League of Anarchy team. So ever since then, I don't think I've seen her challenge and she's not an arena character and she's not really like in a lot of chests but if she is she's always with the entire team and i don't need um joker shards i have plenty i have three thousand or four thousand and i already maxed out harley quinn so there's not really much of a reward yeah almost four thousand um there's not much of a reward for me to like just buy the league of anarchy chest so it's either just grind champions arena or hope that you get um that you guys are able to get some really good <laughs> rewards from the invasions because other than that i don't think we're going to get a challenge from her anytime soon they might happen um but i wouldn't like i just wouldn't hold out hope for that she's a she's a very exclusive character so just we do have the multiverse um, challenge going on, but I just think it's probably better just to be grinding at those league missions for those extra bit of metahuman shards every week and then just try and really, really try when there's a lot of metahuman shards in the champions arena. Right now, there's might. I should probably do that because I probably need a lot of um, might shards for Batwoman the Drowned. But yeah, it's a little difficult with EPI. I don't remember how I got so many Heartbreaker Harley Quinn shards because I remember I was stuck at um, three Ascended Stars for the longest time. Um, I think it was just opening tons and tons of Legendary chests that she just dropped out a lot. But I guess I wasn't too lucky with EPI. So now she's just like kind of there. At least she'll be at four Ascended Stars once I have more um, gold tomorrow from the solo raids but it'll be a while to get her to seven stars because i definitely think she's gonna be um she's gonna be a big help in getting that heartbreaker harley quinn um that heartbreaker harley quinn solo raid turn just like a one shot it'll just be way quicker and i've never gotten a legendary from these i just want another suicide harley quinn because there's no more shards that i can ask for my league so I'm kind of stuck. I'm like 45 shards away and 
I just want to like get this character over with to level two stars to three stars and then focus on somebody else like EPI because I just have it's just so it's, it's a very small amount of shards and I'm just waiting and waiting but <clears throat> other than that I think I've been focusing on teams in general that are built with synergy so I have Zatanna completed which is old news but John Constantine also is at gear 60 um where's uh the swamp thing right here he's also gear 60 um who else have I made I've been also focusing on Harley Quinn's so I just rearranged a little bit of the reforges they're already um at these normal gears like they were already at level 70 when I returned to the game because I didn't really have anything to focus on so I just focused on Harley Quinn's and she's also just a little bit more better built now so now she's like one of the stronger gold characters I have which is kind of insane because she's the worst Batman ninja character but overall I think after the after this build that I'm gonna perfect with level 75 gears hopefully it'll be soon like hopefully it'll be quick I don't think it'll be quick though because this this um, solo raid is about to end and we're about to go to the black metal card solo raid and I haven't played that so it's gonna be just like 6,000 gear material every other day you know what I mean like it's not gonna be too much gear material I mean I am gonna get um, a lot of gems but at the same time <laughs> progress is gonna be very slow I don't know what the next solo raid is I hope it's the no mr. freeze because I need Nora snow globe and it better at a much higher level because so Deathstroke can use it to um, do more damage but after Beast Boy I am for sure Poison Ivy because like I said um, before I quit this game they were at level 70 which was the highest level of gears you could so I mean it's like five levels more it's not gonna take too long so it'll just be um, very quick this time for EPI after her I think that's when I'm gonna start focusing on my legendary characters because I, I, I feel like I need to do a lot for Deathstroke so I can get him to do tons of damage percent when I need him to like just knock off a few um, millions of off of a really high boss so I'm also thinking about Brainiac he's also um, already pretty built up from two level 70 gears which is insane um these pieces are the only ones that drop from the raids so it's a little bit sad that none of these other ones have been completed but level 70 gears i'm not going to complain about um the reforges are a little bit tragic but i do have a lot of regular for reforges so i'm also looking to build up just the teammates in general so like my heartbreaker harley quinn turn has EPI and Classic Wonder Woman. So I'm building up Entangling Poison Ivy so in case anything happens, in case I mess up, she doesn't get knocked out immediately. So for my Batwoman the Drowned, I also want to increase Robin King as a whole because he's very weak. And like within a few um, hits from the opponent or like one special move, he's out. So I'm just going to focus on building him up, leveling him up and getting this all the way to level 70, this as well. You know just trying to get them stronger and Superman for sure because he's a very good um, he's a very good character in Champions Arena and Arena dark side as well I could always um, the league can always use another dark side you know what I mean like a very good dark side for invasions I and mean, he's also pretty good in Champions Arena and Arena so it won't hurt to use to just invest into him after those characters um i think i'm just gonna go back to focusing on more teams like the flaw justice league team and trying to actually trying to actually build up my multiverse team like they're very high you guys might see that but that's just because um i don't know they're like as you guys could see it's like level 40 gears and 50 gears so they're not really i'm not really focused on them 
But yeah, I'm gonna focus on the multiverse team. I'm gonna try and build up the flawed Justice League team. Then I'm gonna try and build up one more team. I'm not sure which team that'll be. It might just be the classic team because I've been really um, interested in playing the classic team. Like they look a lot of fun. I like their gameplay. Um, even though I might be playing like at a very low um, threat level because they're very low. Um, I really want to try the team. They do a lot of blinds. So um, I'm interested what that'll, how that gameplay looks like with actually tough opponents. It'll be fun. I think they're, I'm already expecting the team to be a lot of fun and to be pretty good. So I'm kind of excited for that. But for sure, Flawed Justice League. Before um, anything else, before any other teams, I want to do um, this team. I already have Black Adam almost ready. I just need Peacemaker and Hawkman to get on that level. So I'm hoping it won't take too long. But I'm assuming it won't because after these two weeks for, of the Dark Metal cards, I'm hoping it's a really good um, solo raid. We already went through the bad ones. So we already went through ravens and then we already went through not saying that the superman solar raid is bad but we already went through that which could be bad if you don't have the beta club and if you don't have like a lot of good like a lot of good characters like beast boy and raven we already went through dark side it used to be pretty awful but it's gotten a little better now that the passives on the artifacts are all are for everyone in the team but i i really want to see Mr. Freeze's um, solo raid, which I'm almost positive will be next. I'm not saying it'll be next because I don't know that. I'm just speculating. I know that the Dark Metal Cards is next after Deathstroke, but Mr. Freeze hasn't been around ever since. Like, as soon as I jump, jumped into the game, that was the raid that was going on at the time, and it hasn't come back since. So it's been since April. So I feel like it'll. it's almost time for him to make a return. If not that, I really want Zatanna's because Zatanna was the next one after that, I think. And I need to get my Zatanna's puppet all the way up because I feel like because it's such a low level, the gameplay could be a little inconsistent because there's a very small amount of chance that you could um, get a lot of debuffs and it takes a little bit of while for that. So it's like just a 62% 62 chance. So if it, I can get that to like a higher chance, it'll just make the they'll just make the run very quick and more consistent because i've had sometimes batman ninja team they don't get any of the uh, they don't get any debuffs and they were just like kind of there for like a minute or two and the gameplay is like very slow and it's not and they end up not one sharding sometimes it's rare but it'll happen but i hope we can see zatanna um make a return for solo raids but yeah I think I've been doing really good. Like I feel like the progress has been has slowed down because of the Deathstroke one, but I think like at the very end I starting it's starting to like speed up and I'm starting to get a lot of more resources. But other than my roster, I'm hoping we get more characters very soon. There are no movies coming out except for the Joker, so I don't know what they're going to add. I hope they add new characters like but there's no movies to base those characters off off of which is what they usually do nowadays. Like back in the day they would probably ha they would probably have added teenage teenage mutant nin ninja turtles for um characters the Adam. They would have probably added Bizarro or they probably would have added Doomsday or um any other injustice one characters they have not added but i feel like they really um they're getting really into the habit of creating real life action movies um characters into the they're just bringing all of those characters into the game that's why we have peacemaker and that's why we have like dwayne johnson and then hawkman even though those two are not in injustice 2 but I'm hoping we can see more original characters. I want to see Ares, and then I want to see Doomsday. I want to see Lex Luthor. I want to see Adam. 
the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then there's another one. Besides Bizarro, there was another one. There's another character they have not added. And we need a lot more characters. I feel like we need more var variety instead of just giving us skins of already characters that we already have. But yeah, that was it for my roster overview. If you guys liked the video, like, subscribe, comment down below. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.